Hello and welcome to the Health Wizard Podcast with your host, Elena Wilkins, who happens to be me. I'm so excited that you are choosing to listen to this podcast because you're choosing to put your health as your priority. This podcast is dedicated to teaching the most natural, amazing means that you can use to get your health back on track and reclaim the person that you used to be before getting sick. Now, very quickly... Before we dive into the good stuff, I just wanted to remind you that this podcast is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. My podcast is not a substitute for professional medical advice. If you have a medical condition, please seek the help of a licensed medical professional. We are not medical doctors and we do not treat, diagnose, prescribe, or make any claims outside of what we know or what we do. So by choosing to listen to our podcast, you take responsibility for your own actions. And if you hear the testimonials of people who were able to get well, you'll realize that their outcome is dependent on their effort and their specific condition. With that said, let's jump into today's topic. Please enjoy. Hello, wonderful souls, and welcome to another episode. Today, I'm bringing you a wonderful treat. Um, actually, a client of mine who recently was graduating from my program, and her story was so touching, and her progress was so amazing that I immediately knew that she had to share her story with the world. So, in a gentle way, in a way that only I could do, I twisted her arm, and I convinced her to share her story with you and with the rest of the World Wide Web and where people can find her story because it is really a story of inspiration, a story of somebody who does not know when to quit, even in spite of the worst of the diagnosis and prognosis that she gets from her doctors. My client is Achi. Achi was diagnosed with, at one point, with hyperthyroidism, then was Graves, and then it was hypothyroidism and then developed into Hashimoto. So both diseases at the same time and also the thyroid eye disease. What was amazing and is amazing about Achi is that when she came to me, she was six months pregnant. And her entire desire and goal was to be medication-free when she was going to deliver her baby and to remain medication-free so she could nurse him as he was growing. To, um, grow up. And that seemed to be impossible because her body was flip flopping between the hyper and the hypo state and getting worse. So we took a gamble on each other. We took the uh, a chance and, and jumped at it. And what we were able to accomplish together, me just guiding her through it and her doing the actual work was this. In three months, Ashi delivered her baby without medication. And she was also able to reduce her symptoms from 52 to 41 in that same time. And now she's been graduated for a couple of weeks. We've had even more improvements. Well, I should say she had more improvements since I'm only a... Um, an observer. Her eyesight is beginning beginning to improve, something that um, doctors often say would be impossible. So today I'm taking you into Achi's life as she invites us into it. We did this uh, live inside of our Facebook group and this was a video recording. So if you're listening to the podcast and you actually would like to meet Achi, I'm going to post a video on um on the post that comes with this podcast on my website. You can hop on over and see her there. And if you get inspired by her story, leave her a comment and, and just be a part of her success as well. Um, so this is a recording of that video, but just the audio part of it. The video is made available separately. But I want you to enjoy it because this is a story um, of somebody who was told that it's impossible to get well. Yet in spite of that, in spite of the, that prognosis, in spite of having to spend almost every week at her doctor's office, she is now so much better and she's looking forward to a completely asymptomatic life by the end of this year. And I know with the success that she's had so far, that would be absolutely not only possible, but probable. So please welcome Achi to the stage of this podcast. Enjoy her story. And once you get inspired, if this is the kind of success that you want for yourself, all you have to do is um, email me and ask for a link to my calendar. We'll get on a discovery call and to see if your hormone imbalance, if your illness can also be addressed in the same natural manner in with the same swiftness as Achi's. So 
you all enjoy it and I'll see you at the end of this podcast. Today we're going to talk about your process as you showed up in my life about what three and a half months ago and um, how you went from where you were now, uh, then to where you are now and what is still going on, yes. what's working, what's not working. Kind of just like January a quick, quick 23, I remember that day. Yeah, well, we're going to jump right into that because right now we have uh, mm-hmm. five and a half thousand people inside this group who need hope. And hope is very, very hard to come by a lot of times because here's what we know. Mm-hmm. The doctors don't give us hope. The naturopaths don't have as much. The surgeons take away a lot of our hope. All the supplements and surgeries and diets out there oftentimes fail us. So let's jump right into about three and a half months ago when you reached out to me and we hopped on a discovery call with you. And what we'll, I learned is that you had Graves' disease and Hashimoto's, but at the same time, it was as your body was going between hyper and hypothyroidism state on and off. It was constant. And at the same time, you were expecting George, who is now out of your, your uh, belly and in this world, but you were pregnant mm-hmm. and you had fears. So why don't we start there where um, what you had to go through to end up and how you found mm-hmm. me, and then we're going to explore what happened since then. Okay, well... How do I begin? Well, because I've been, I, I guess it's the mama bear instinct mm-hmm. uh, that sort of triggered it. Because, of course, I lived with Hashimoto's or what I knew as hyper for the longest time. But I was able to put up, I had, and then uh, I think in 15, I was diagnosed with the hyperthyroidism and Graves. I had the Graves eye disease, but I was sort of putting up with it. But because I was already getting desperate, because I, I'm pregnant, and I was sort of concerned about, well, the medications. I knew the medications that they're giving me were really to save my life because I had a thyroid storm, which is, I can really, I can really say that I'm sort of near death in several instances because I was, I was just stuck in bed, <laughs> really stuck in bed. I can't even get up, so I was sort of afraid. Yeah, so. And because I was thinking, yes, the medications might be saving my life, but I can't live this way. So of course I looked, looked in the internet, <laughs> and I was uh, sort of confused. And I ended up, of course, in your website and uh, in your Facebook, basically in your Facebook. And I actually listened to Maritza. Uh, I think she's the one who did a similar call, a similar call like this. And it, I think this is a way of paying back. Yes, as I said, because that's how I I thought this young person is so lucky to be able to heal her hypothyroid because otherwise she will end up like me, meaning she will end up being worse and getting uh, autoimmune disease after autoimmune disease. And so I was so happy for her. And I was wondering, well, I don't know if Elena will accept me because I'm high risk. I mean, I'm pregnant and I've been, you know, this is probably three cases in one. So I said, me, but if I, and I said, okay, I just, I just have to know. <laughs> so I, I just, after that interview with Maritza, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but mm-hmm. I said, oh, maybe I should just try because, you know, what, what I can only, well, I'm in a desperate situation. I really want to, exactly as you said. Um, yeah. Uh, there's my baby. And, and, um, Archie, and let's take a pause difficult. because some people in this group mm-hmm. that do not know what a thyroid storm is. Can you okay. take about one minute okay. to explain what a thyroid storm is? Well, I didn't know it was a thyroid storm when I first had it, but since I had several episodes, this is what it is. You get uh, heart palpitations, like as if there's an earthquake <laughs> or there's heart, heart palpitations tremors your body is trembling you have high blood pressure and basically i think it's as if your adrenaline went down collapse in a way because you can't even move or get up meaning you get dizzy whenever you get up or you can't even get up so and it all happens at the same time and it's it lasts for maybe more than five you know five minutes at, meaning in my case, sometimes short at I be so uh, I don't know maybe once a day. So meaning I guess if I overworked 
I mean, because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I really have to, to do something in the house. I mean, I have three. I mean, at that time, I had three young children. And so I have those episodes every so often. It's because of the, it's the, the, uh, the hyperthyroidism. But yeah, that's, that's what it is in a nutshell. Right. And you mentioned that a couple of times you were basically in a, at a near-death experience. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I can laugh about it now, but yes. <laughs> it's, it's a good side to be on right now to be able to laugh about it. But I know it probably was heart-wrenching for your husband to go through that and for your three kids and knowing that you're pregnant at the same time. It's probably not something that you took lightly at that time, being between life and death and not knowing what's going to happen to your entire family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's scary. Well, I I sort of knew what hyperthyroid, I mean, my of course, my mom is with me right now. She's visiting. But I had the history of uh, hyperthyroidism because my mom had it. So I sort of knew what's going on. Mm-hmm. And my father had goiter. <laughs> I have no choice but but that's the reason why i said i am not cursed with this disease meaning i i knew i had to do something on my part and not to be dependent on just the doctors because at least i want to do something on my i mean i want to sort of put my my hand in the oar start mm-hmm. or, i mean helping not just depending on the doctors Right, and you, by the time you came so, to me, yeah, I think it was you were, scary. <laughs> it was you, scary you were visiting your doctors. At that time, it was involved. You were visiting your doctors on average about once per week by the time we started to work together, right? Yes, I had several doctors. I had the endocrinologist, the OBGYN, the eye doctor, and of course, I had the physical therapy as well because I'm, yeah, for my mobility. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so you you really got to know your, all of your doctors and first name basis and probably saw them more often than you, you saw your mom during that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so now I see her more often. Yeah. <laughs> we, so we began to work together because then you were high risk. And it's always for me when somebody comes to me in a situation mm-hmm. like yours, you're pregnant. And it, the, the fact that you had several diseases going on at the same time was not as high of a concern for me, except that you were also pregnant on top of it. And so we always mm-hmm. think, okay, what is going to happen? But what we knew is one thing. We knew it was not going to get worse if we nourished your body. But how much better was that? Was the... Um, gamble that we're taking because I told you we have to figure out because we don't know how fast you'll respond we don't know how well you'll respond but the miracle was that you were swinging between your hyper and hypothyroid state right as we began to work together they took you off medication and we caught you right in the time and then the whole pregnancy you were medication free right Mm -hmm. and then you came in with over 50 different symptoms and i remember your graduation a that, couple that, of weeks ago that program. I'm, say that again i was saying from day one that i was in the program i was medication free yeah. so i was that was really something for me in medication free and you were able to do so your biggest goals were to deliver george without any medication in your system mm-hmm. and without medication when you were at the hospital and uh, mm-hmm. i think that everybody who is in the program who has gone through the program at the same time with you we had the best of times when we were doing our weekly q a call and here's achi in the background we'll turn off her video and go have a contraction and come right back that that was the level of your commitment And that was the level that you always showed up. You always did your work. You did your part. And when we sat down for your graduation call, was I blown away because you came in with uh, Graves' disease, Hashimoto's, thyroid eye disease. You were on medication at first. And now you're medication-free. And out of 52 symptoms that you came in with, 41 vanished in a period of three weeks. I'm sorry, three weeks, three months, Mm -hmm. (laughs) three weeks would be great. So how was that journey for you? Because I know when you first began, yeah, people always, always say, how soon will I get better? And we're always, you know, we have to find out, but in the beginning, you're going with slow. It's like a symptom going away here and a symptom there, but the accumulation what, what was tremendous. It was like a, a downpouring of something wonderful, over 40 symptoms gone in three months. How was the journey for you? I guess uh, because of that change and it's a commitment for life. 
And I, I realize now you're dealing with two clients, Elena, not just me, but George. <laughs> so, um, and uh, it was it was it was hard. But the thing is, when you think about the why, my why became bigger and bigger and bigger because I knew I'm not just doing this for me. Uh, maybe because when I was single and I was sick, I didn't care. I can I can pop a pill and no one no one gets hurt. But now I realize it's the baby, and it's also my children, it's my family, my of course all the people that I get angry at because of all of these mood swings. <laughs> maybe it affects all the people surrounding me. It affects well my entire life. So I, I think when you're why, when you reason for doing this, get the, you know, the task at hand becomes uh, have to do choice. As if I'm, this is my life, I'm betting my life on this. So it became easy in a way, with the perspective of being able to change the way I, I mean, even going on exercise, which I never did as a pregnant person, I was able to do because I have a, I had a big why. I think that was the more difficult part, <laughs> the exercise, <laughs> because given my health, I know it's, it's really tired, meaning given that I never really did exercise because I was sick. But yeah, I realized, yeah, the more I did it, the more energy I, ha I have. So, I mean, that's, that's exactly, I guess I have a big why. And well, I guess more of the why is because this uh, journey, or I call it a journey, but this program actually deepened my faith. Well, I don't know. Of course, probably not too many people have the same uh, spirit quality that I had. But it led me to believe that I can actually be healed because before I thought I can just put up with it. Mm. But now I realize that I can ask, meaning as, as I mentioned to you, that I underestimated my God. And I realized, yes, I can, I, can, I can actually ask him anything I want in the world because I'm his daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I know. And it, so isn't it amazing, Archie, that when we end so up it, with... It led me to a greater hope. So yeah. this is also the spiritual part of me that actually grew and healed. Yeah, and it is. And, and so it's amazing. I run ads, you know, with all full disclosure that we all make money somehow, right? I run ads to the webinar, which is free, and people would leave sometimes this mean comments like, how dare do you give people hope? How dare do you get, do, how can you even say that something as severe as Graves' disease or thyroid eye disease or Hashimoto's is absolutely impossible? And what we have looked at, and as you were going uh, working with me for three months is, Everybody who said it was impossible were the people who never got any outcomes. And then there was a crazy bunch that ends up working with me about 10 people per month, right? And they say, what if it's possible? What if I dare to believe? What if I say, can, can, can I stretch my faith and my limiting beliefs sometimes and see what's out there? Because it's impossible to even know the human spirit, let alone, you know, the universe or God that you believe in. And you have this potential and you dare to believe, what if I tap into it? And it was not always easy, but as you were going through this process and, and George is going and inside of you and your three kids are there, all of a sudden somebody who has uh, three diagnoses and a, a pregnancy and you, you never worked out your pregnancies before. Now you're working out and you have more energy and now you're, you are able to keep up with your kids a little bit better and your symptoms are going away and you're not as agitated anymore. And was your life becoming better or was it harder to go through this process and be pregnant at the same time and have your life at the same time? Mm -hmm. Well, it's wor all worth it. That's what I can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we're, we're having a little con connection delay and, here. So you'll and be we have a yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. But um, what I'm saying is I, I am an accountant. So I know that there's a cost to get to getting you, but I said I've wasted a lot of money already, probably being sick for a long time, and being you know using the net present value. I mean, uh, of things like if I if I if I accumulate the cost of the medications, the future medications, the operations, the surgery, the radiation that I'm going to have the doctor's fees, it's it's worth it to just. Uh, uh, invest on this and see what happens since I've wasted money anyway already in the past. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how I saw it from a from an accountant perspective.
And so, yeah, and I love it. that. So for all of you who are listening, Archie is an accountant and we were having this conversation. Is it going to be worth it for you to become possibly medication free and symptom free? And she's sitting down literally on the call doing the math. She's like, if I don't see my doctors this many times, if I don't go and have a surgery, if I know, never have another thyroid storm, and if I stay alive, will that be worth it for me? And by process of putting the cost, what she already had, um, put into her, her health, you know, try, we call it healthcare, right? But it's really sick care. So you were staying afloat just to be alive for your kids, Archie, for your husband, for your baby that was inside of you. But that was never really health, was it? That was more symptoms and more diseases every single year were piling on and having a couple of um, autoimmune diseases already happening. We call that healthcare and we sometimes put that, that okay, my insurance covers it, but what we forget sometimes is what is costing you sometimes close, like you said, you were near death experience a couple of times, it will almost cost you your life. So when we compared, when we did the cost analysis, what you were paying into the healthcare, even though it was your insurance and deductibles and whatever else, and what you gambled to gain by working together with me was almost like a no brainer for you. Then the rest of the time, we just spent educating your husband about this topic and, yeah, and well. convincing him that this is what you needed to do for the family, not just for you, but for the whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, if there's a will, there's a way. I mean, we're just a single income family, but if, you know, it's, it's worth it, as I said. So looking back at you right now, you came in with, over, I, I counted on your form 52 symptoms. And then I counted as you were about to graduate and you had only 10 or 11 remaining. Where are you with those symptoms? And I mean, what we've heard is this, Archie, with, with, with all disclosure, I get on the call with people and I tell them about your story and about the stories of others that have been through the program, Amanda's and Leanne's and others. And I hear this. It's too good to be true. You you must be lying to me because it's too good to be true. So did you find that for your, was it too good to be true? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, still, it's still too good to be true for me. But the, the thing is, I, I put my work in true, but I saw no way because it's an answer to my prayer. But, but there, I mean, I, I, I would say it's too good to be true because it's a God-given thing, but... Yeah, I already, as I said, uh, I, I think I mentioned this in, in the group that I think God saw the, 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 gen, the genuine desire that I have to be well by putting in my effort to, to be well, by, by being, trying to be more healthy. And maybe by that, he has, he has granted my petitions that I am healthy right now. Well, not absolutely healthy because I still have the symptoms, but I'm actually feeling the healing. Like Elena, right now I'm wearing just my reading glasses and these are not the corrective glasses for double vision. So at least now in short range, I can see, I can see you, you're not a twin anymore because I usually have the double vision when even, even, yeah, yeah, even in short distances. But now, now I can see you just one. Even without my corrective glasses, I'm just wearing my reading glasses right now. So it's it still is a process. It's not instantaneous that you get healed, but you have to continue. As I said, even after the program, you have to continue doing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and I think eventually, yes, you as Elena would say, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. That's you right. Say, you learn so well. I love it. Talking to you <laughs> with my reading glasses. Yeah, to all of you, it, it, this is what you need to hear. And Archie learns this, and all of my clients will learn this. You, when you go into the, this process with me, you're going to hit a lot of bumps along the way. Archie's was not overnight. I have some clients come in and there, I mean, it's like first week, one pounds down, five, uh, five symptoms gone. Second week, seven more pounds down, 20 symptoms are now gone. And Archie was like the little engine that could. Two symptoms here, two symptoms there. But lo and behold, 12 weeks later, 41 symptoms gone. Is it a miracle? Actually, how long were you sick before that, before we began to work together? Yeah, that's why I consider it a miracle because I was sick for, since 2005. That was just the diagnosis. I've been sick for a longer time then, but it was I was just diagnosed at that year, 2005. So, so that's 2005, that makes sick. it 12 plus years. <laughs> So if we can take over 12 years of somebody's life and you raised 
more than more than 80 percent of symptoms in just three months i know it is too good to be true but here says the proof, right? You came with double vision, could barely move. You were sensitive mm -hmm. to the sun, to the light. Um, I, why, why don't you go ahead and give us like a short list of all the symptoms that you were struggling with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 52 is not a short list. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you, uh, people uh, would I mean, sort of, well, I, I also whined and complain. That's basically, I can relate to all of your... <laughs> Love what you're saying. Uh, so, you know, I've been there. Well, I hope I don't ever come back. And so that's the reason why I keep on doing what I'm supposed to be doing through the things that I've learned through your program because I don't want to ever go back there. <laughs> and so you, you are now on, uh, on this end, um, 52 symptoms, 41 gone. Ever, any mathematicians out there? Uh, Archie, you're an accountant. I'm going to do quick math. Well, it's just you like an 80%. Yeah, yeah that, that's 80%. 80% symptoms gone in three months. So erasing over a, a, about 15 years of diseases in three months. Is that magical? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> For me. Well, what we love, though, and... and, and uh, you're, you're the magician. It, it, well... I, no, I'm only an instrument in the hands of a magician, and that's all I'm going to claim to be. But we believe this, um, and ladies, by the way, if you have thoughts, questions, you can start typing them in. Yes. But here's what we believe when we work with me and with an amazing group of women just like Archie. And people say, is it possible for me to get better? Is it possible for me to get 100% better? How the heck do I know? What I know is we're going to give you the tools. You're going to do all of the work. And then we're going to see what the universe has for you, how, the, how God will work it out for you. And then we believe this. And this is one truth that all of you should believe. It's not a matter of if, write it down. It's a matter of when. And when we say that, then we're inspired to do to to um, have inspired action and intelligent action. We're going to eat right. We're going to stay hydrated. We're going to work on our stress. We're going to work on our sleep. We're going to do everything that Archie has done. And when the the magic happens, a eighty percent improvement in three months, then who is to say that was magic? That was only a natural course of events because somebody dares to believe, and somebody says. There's nothing that will stop me. And the doctors will always tell you it's impossible. And, oh, my God, what if I already had a hysterectomy and thyroidectomy? And, of course, we cannot grow those body parts back. But who is to say that we still cannot get you to at least 80% improvement, right? Actually, is it better to be at 100%, 80%? Of course, 100 is better. So at 80% improvement, or is it better to be stuck at, at uh, near-death yeah. experience, right? <laughs> near-death experience. Yeah, any, yeah, as I said, uh, anything that would get me to feel better, even just, you know, even just one symptom eliminated is, is something that you can't buy <laughs> being an accountant. You can't buy healing. <laughs> so any regrets that you had ever that worked with me? Uh, of course, I would have wished I could have met you earlier, but yeah. Uh, it's the, I think God placed me at the perfect time because if I did, probably if I was alive, that was the that I, you know, I really want to be better for me and my baby and my children and my, of course my my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the husband, remember the husband, how we spent almost an entire week educating him on why you should be doing this. And you came out the accountant and you won this whole thing and you showed to him the value. And the value was this, I get to stick around for my kids. I get to stick around for you and there's going to be no other thyroid storm that will take my life away at the tender age of 30 something. I get to be here for you for the rest of our, our adult life, you know, whatever God has given me. And that is the miracle. And that is why you, you did most of the convincing on somebody else, but not you, because you were convinced that there could be nothing worse than you, what, what you already were, were experiencing. And it was so worth finding out if there is a better future, right? Yeah. Yes, because it's easier for other people to say, ah, oh, maybe you can do this or you do that. But because I'm sick, I'm the one who feel the, all the symptoms. So I know what's, what is at risk. And I know any, any glimmer of hope is worth it. <laughs> right. So at the end of the day, and I know that, that um, you mentioned you're one, one income family and you have three, four kids now, but at the end of the day, was it your husband's or your decision to say, I'm going to do this for me? 
who, who was the, the one who, who made all the decisions at the end of the day? Well, of course, I mean, us, it means I'm a professional. I know that a professional would charge something. Otherwise, if it's just free, you won't even think about it because this might be some cuckoo or <laughs> Well, yes. <laughs> I'm a professional and I charge things. And if, if someone comes cheap, you know, you get what you paid for. So that's that's how I sort of well, sort of knew that eh, this person is probably quite serious about what she's doing. I can I can tell by how professional you were in handling me, and of course you you can move on and have other clients other than me. So I was basically the one who tried to convince you to get me. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, you told me I, I I was like twenty seconds, twenty minutes on a call with you, and you gave me all the math. I'm like, dang, I would I'd be darned if I didn't take that woman on as a client, but. It was a risk worth taking, and I can tell you I would do it again in a heartbeat. And the tools, and here's the part of it, this is all an investment into your future. So the surgeries, usually you pay for them, they make you feel worse for the most part, and there are surgeries that save lives. The medications are usually to keep you afloat, but eventually they take a toll on your body because you try them all, and they make you feel worse. Usually we don't find that medications make us feel better at all. The supplements, same thing. We've had people on 20, 30 supplements, and they're not better, even though for a while there's a relief. But what we always look is for permanent change in your health. Can you replicate now, uh, Archie? And, and this is something people are, are always asking me too. Is it going to be something I just do for two or three months and then I can go back to the way things were? And I always tell them, absolutely not. Once you go this way, you don't ever go back. But we make sure that it is easy to follow and it's sustainable. So you're a mother of four. You are married. So you have a husband. Was it easy for you to follow the plan that I taught you in order to be at 80% improvement in the last three months? Well, it's it's not it's not because you have to uh, yeah you have to struggle with with all these uh, <laughs> of course it's it's like going swimming against the tide mm -hmm. swim I mean rowing against the, the yeah the flow of the river because everybody's eating a certain way but you have to sort of influence your environment mm -hmm. in, uh, show them that this is working for me and maybe it will help you too <laughs> so uh, sort of you just fight your way in in a way so uh, i ended up following the nice thing is that i ended up following what the other people would would do uh, in the group like of course i i i make sure that since i'm the one cooking then <laughs> you should eat what i eat <laughs> mm -hmm. or at least most of what i eat so it's it's basically yeah it's not that easy but you have to continue fighting so you get your way and live live how you should be living like uh, trying to uh, there's uh, there's this guy you invited in the call that no excuses there are no excuses so even if it's yes i am nice lives if i don't get um, not much money you can still eat healthy all right there's no excuse Basically, that's what you put in your head. There's no excuse. You cannot complain to Elaine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she would you cannot complain to Elaine. <laughs> hey, this is her. That's why I'm about to go into my coaching mode and maybe rephrase you. Let's reframe you. So the, the recipes that I gave you, they were the common ingredient recipes. You can find those at supermarkets. So the eating is easy. What you're saying, the mindset change was harder for you. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But in the environment, of course. Okay, so, but now that you got this lifestyle un under control over three months into this, do you find that now that's easier uh, than it was three months ago for you? Yes, yes, now it's easy. Well, because I, as I told Nina, well, one of the people in the group, that I always channel whatever you say. It's like you're, I mean, I play the, <laughs> the inner Elena voice in me <laughs> saying, okay, there's, a, there's, there's always this reason that you would come up with to i mean to counteract that negative thought for instance exactly. so yeah channeling the elena, <laughs> yeah, the elena, elena and archie how much negativity were you allowed while you were working with me nada zero nada so that, that uh, so that's why this is not for everybody because literally you, you all you end up working with me there's no room for whining. You can hurt. You can go through symptoms and all. But at the end of the day, even if you're in a wheelchair, here's what I'm going to tell you. How's that working out for you? Now, can we finally concentrate on the solution and not the problem? And this is exactly the reason why our clients get outcomes like crazy while people are not in other programs. <clears throat> 
marginal results because they're allowed to wallow in their pity. They're allowed to wallow in their hurt. And guess what, ladies and gents? I've been there, done it myself. Hypothyroidism, depression, infertility, pituitary tumor. Been in there, done it. The one thing that never got me out of my problem was feeling more depressed about it, feeling more in pain about it. One thing that did get me out of it was getting off my behind, putting putting my my feet and hands where my mind was, getting the work done, stop complaining, and actually being grateful. Not grateful necessarily for the disease, but grateful for being alive and being able to do things. And for Ach, it wasn't easy after a couple of thyroid storms with three kids around and she's a homeschooling mom and a baby in the belly. Was it easy? Absolutely not. But she never complained because she knew, well, it was going to be useless anyway. <laughs> but what got her the outcomes to 80% improvements? I mean, is it, is it blowing any of your minds right now that in three months she had 80% improvement in her symptoms? I know it's blowing, blowing me away. And I, I remember, Achi, when you went and you got your double vision glasses, that was about probably two or four weeks into the program. And right now you're going back to your reading glasses. We didn't even think, we didn't know if your vision was going to be corrected or not. We were taking chances. But what we decided is this, we're not going to limit your body or God in giving you 100% of your health back, were we? Yes. Yes. Especially me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I have to add, I, I, this, uh, this is another thought that, that I remember during our discovery call. I still remember that. That, that time because I was still thinking should I just do an experiment you know just read through your blogs and follow whatever you say mm -hmm. and do a trial and error of what works for me or not and but I realized it would t probably take me a longer time and I thought I really needed a coach a mentor well just like in, in the spiritual life you have a spiritual director to hold your hand and guide you through the journey and that's that's one thing that Nah, might as well. I just said I might as well get someone to hold my hand through this because otherwise I cannot. It's like self-medicating, right? So it's like guiding yourself <laughs> to where. So you really need. I know because in the spiritual life you need a spiritual director. Yeah. And I guess in your life, in in, in terms of health, you need someone. You need a coach to guide you through and push you, right? just like we you did. Because if not, I'll be just. You know, surrendering and yeah, throw the towel. This is so difficult. <laughs> so that's what I, I really needed a coach. And I, I do thank you for that. And a lot of times, people, hey, Zayisha. Yeah, people would say, "Oh, Elena, you're just selling your services." Well, my <laughs> service can save you. I have no problem selling it, but that's not the point. I am a grown 41-year-old woman and I still have a business coach and I have a mindset coach because one day I realized as awesome and wonderful as I am and I save lives, I still need people to be accountable to in certain areas of my life. And I remember when I was going through hell of a life for about 10 years with my health, how I wished and prayed there was somebody like me out there and there was nobody at that time to guide me through and say, if you do A, you're going to get to be very quickly if you if you just do this thing, uh, things. I spent 10 years searching for results and outcomes. I spent over 20 grand on them. And when at the end of it, I was no closer to an outcome than there was uh, 10 years before that. Uh, so when, when we get coaches, when, when people work with me, Here's what we do. We give you a shortcut to, to greatness. We give you a shortcut to 80% outcome in, in uh, three months. It's a shortcut that you, if you uh, travel on your own, it might, might take you three years or 30 years to get there. But if we can freaking get you there in three months, why not? Because what we look at, and, and because, Archie, you're an accountant, when we do the math, what it costs you not to be well for the last 15 years, and what now you're saving that you've made an investment in your health. So you made, made the upfront investment and now you're getting better. And now you're going to repeat this cycle that, that you've learned over and over again for the next 30, 40, 50 years of your life. And that means you don't have to spend that money ever again. So it's a one-time expense and you go and you put it in yourself, but then it comes back with dividends because now you don't have to be at your doctor's office every other day because your vision is going and because you're pregnant and because you're still on medication and because of being high risk. But now you actually go outside and you enjoy the sunshine and you're going up and down the stairs without even noticing you got the energy that you didn't have before. And that's a shortcut that, yes, you can try to get there on your own, but <laughs> dang, if you already spent 15 years trying to get there, what makes you think that the next 15 years are going to be any different, right? Yes. Well, in net present value. 
so net net present day. value is that what you said yes well meaning you 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 count all the future costs and and what it costs you now to get i mean to avoid those costs or get all those value so that's what uh, basically, that's how I just basically decided. <laughs> yes, and it's awesome. I love your, and Sandra said earlier, she loved the, the an analysis, she says, because this is exactly what it is. When, when you can figure out that you're going to save yourself, add in about 10, 20 years to your lifespan, and you're going to save about 100 grand that you would spend on pills and medications and surgeries, and you add it in, and the net present value is you make one investment into yourself, you learn the, the tricks of the trade, and no excuses. You get the inner Elena voice into your head and you're just going to chug along like the little engine that could like Archie. And before you know it, and Saisha is watching and Sandra, Saisha went through her, her remember Saisha? She went through her stuff to where she'd bring around one of these times. And it's the same thing. You bump around until you get on this path and you know now it's easy because your mind got reconditioned in the beginning. Uh, to be honest, for some people, it's like, it's hard because I have to change mindset and we change your mindset. But eventually, this is the only way that you know to do life. So the net present value, I love that. All right, y'all. Any questions for Archie that you have? Any thoughts, questions for me or Archie? We're going to start taking them now. And Archie, do you have any recommendations, any thoughts for somebody who is on the precipice of, you know, I, I can, you know, since we're talking about me, how great I am, right? <laughs> should they contact me or should they look for a coach out there? What would you recommend that they do? Should they hold back and say, there's no way I can ever do it? Or what would you tell that, that person, the woman or the man that is watching right now? Are they worth the investment in themselves? Well, the, the, my question for them is how desperate are they to be well? Meaning, if you really want to be well, I mean, you'll do everything. I mean, it's really a matter of will. And you'll, you'll meaning, <laughs> discovery call, it's just a phone call. Meaning, I mean, you're not, you're not going to be forced to make an, meaning, to make a decision. Meaning, it's a, you're, in the end, you'll be the one to make a decision for your health anyway. So a discovery call, you can call Elena, you can call anybody in the world who, I mean, to, to, to ask for help. In the end, it's really a matter of knowing how 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 much you really want it, how much you really want to be well. Because even if you have the, all the money in the world and you can pay for you know all the doctors and all the coaches, the health coaches, if you don't really want to be well, I don't think it it would happen to you, right? I mean, if if you don't put your heart and mind into getting better, then It'll just waste the time and effort and money of yeah of, your, of other people there. Exactly. Well, and, and that's why, and, and what uh, those of you who are watching anyway. right now, uh, what Archie is talking about for all of my clients before they become clients, we actually screen them. You screen us, they screen us, we screen them. We get in a call to look for a couple of things. Can we help you? Are you desperate enough to get help? Are you coachable? And are you ready? Because when those four things don't check in, then there's not even a thing that I would never, I, I've turned away people before when I determined they're not ready yet. Here's what we tell them. Come back when you're ready and let's have a conversation. So while I'm not like super freaky, too picky, but I am. So when Archie, when you got on a call with me, those were things that I was looking for. Can I help this person? Is this person ready to be helped? Is she coachable? And does she want to start getting in charge of her health right away? Or is she going to start making excuses and not, 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 if she's not ready, she's not ready. So we make an offer to only about 50% uh, percent or, or so of the people that we talk to. And out of those, when there's so much fear and they're like, no, no, I'm not ready for it, we just take that offer away too. But so it's the, the discovery call costs you absolutely nothing because we need to know uh, if we can help you. Because here's what happened for, uh, to me, Achi. I was sick for almost 10 years and I would call doctors and say, would you, you know, consider this or this or that? And none of them wanted to answer the call. They laughed at me like receptionists would say, what are you talking about? Our doctors don't return calls. You have to make an appointment. You have to pay your copay. You have to come here, do the labs. And then you end up in the doctor's office and they poke at you and prod at you. And then you go home knowing that you hated the doctor. You hated the, the principles they use. And that was, that's how I spent almost $20,000 on my health. And then what I, I've discovered is 
if I can help somebody do that ahead of time, they need to screen me. They need to see if they want to work with me. I need to know if I want to work with them because let me tell you, Archie is just one of the many awesome women that we work with, but we handpick our clients because they need to be in a state of mind that says nothing is impossible. No more excuses, no more BS. So Sandra and Saisha, those are the women who said, I am going to live for me now. This is the only truth that is true. And that means it's not a matter of, if it's a matter of when, and we pick only the people who are saying, I'm ready to say yes to myself. So with, with that, yes, Aisha, it's all about you too. That's right. And so it costs you nothing, but we encourage that. And, and by the way, those of you who are interested about the discovery call and how it's done, I'll, I'll um, put a link on to our calendar so you can reach out. But right now, go ahead and start typing in your questions if you have them in um both Archie and I will answer them for you. So I'm going to type in uh, a link to our calendar right here. And my husband wants to say hi. Hello. Um, so you can click on that. We have a few appointments left uh, for uh, this week. And then we have a few for next week. So you can schedule that free discovery call to see if we can be of service to you. But right now, are there any questions? And I know because the, the connection is a little slower today, I'm, I'm not as, as excitable as, as I usually am, right, Archie? Usually I go a little bit crazier, but... Um, so questions, thoughts, yes. share yes. them, let, let, let Achi and I know what's on your <laughs> mind right now. Okay. Achi, until then, it's you and I. Anyway, while, while, while the questions are coming in, I just want to, to say that I'm, I'm usually the shy, just type, type, but type and I, uh, that has a question, but I don't even open up. Uh, there's a, a lot of uh, amazing people in the in the group, and so, and mm -hmm. so I, I I actually am inspired by them as well. Uh, they're actually more awesome women, or <laughs> or awesome. Uh, <laughs> well, healing. Yeah. Everybody is awesome and amazing, but what, what we also want, and I want everybody to know, so my clients have a private group on Facebook, and then when they graduate, they have another private uh, group that we transfer them to, so the awesomeness and the support never stops, and it's always there, so, but Archie, you have a question from Itzel, another amazing okay. woman, <laughs> she wants to know if your delivery was better with George compared to other kids. Well, I must say, well, let's see. can you hear me? Okay, so... Uh, anyway, my delivery with George is, well, I should say, I don't know if it's better. I guess it's better. Well, well, well because it's the one that doesn't have, well, um, it's, it's the least difficult of all, meaning it was all natural. Of course, I, it was kind of surprising. I didn't, well, as you, it, as you can say, I had, as you saw, I was having the contractions, the active contractions, and I was in, in a cough. So it was a natural, uh, meaning it was quite fast. I was, um, anyway, I was having contractions while having a phone call with Elena. <laughs> and, then, and then I reached the hospital. So it was, I reached the hospital 12.30 a.m. And, uh, and then I gave birth 3.30 a.m. So it was quite fast. So there's no, I mean, it was, it was, I, I cannot say it's painless, but yeah, I was able to go through my contractions with, you know, I guess all the th things that you taught me, the mindset. So I was able to go through all the labor, the labor pains without any medication. Of course, with my, uh, just to compare it with my other children, the first one I had epidural because I, I had fetal distress. So the, so they had to be ready to open me up right, right there and then if my, my, my baby dropped his heartbeat again. So twice he dropped his heartbeat. But luckily I was able to do a normal delivery. But I had the epidural just in case because he had, his, his heartbeat stopped twice while I was in labor. So that was not nice. The second one, well, the second one was all natural too because I was having already the, con it was, well, I was not awake when I was having contractions. So I was just woken up by, by very painful contractions. So by the time I got to the hospital, I was already eight centimeters dilated. So that was natural, my second one. But I was still on, I was still hypothyroid, and, but it was very lucky. Uh, the third one, I had preeclampsia. <laughs> so meaning my blood pressure was high. So I guess compared to the three, George was a lot better. 
because I it was all natural. I knew what I was doing. I knew that okay, when they asked me to put ointment, I mean, all these medications, said oh, it's not necessary. I was able to say no because I was able to go through it easy. So I guess George was yeah the best. But I had that fear because I knew I he had that medication while for the first six months of my pregnancy. So I didn't know what to expect. That's why I had to give birth in a hospital. Mm-hmm. Because I knew that, you know, given my, my history, that George can be, you know, it, it's still high risk. But I, it, was, it was a surprise for me. It was a good was surprise. Busy. And what love good surprises. And George came out and absolutely healthy and absolutely great. And is he thriving now? We are, what, about the four? He's, he's about One a month. month about, yes. Yes. Well, yeah, he's, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. You got another question from Joyce. Joyce wants to know if oh, you don't mind sharing I'm, how old you are. I'm, I'm already 40. So I, I and I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I guess a little younger than Elena. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yes, I'm 41, Joyce. If you're wondering my age, I'm 41 and I'm feeling wonderful. And Archie, Archie, actually, when you hit 41, you're going to feel like you're 31. Actually, younger because when you were 31, you're already sick. So by the time you hit 41, you're going to be healthier than when you were 31. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it because right now I'm going up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs several times without, you know, losing. Before I would be breathless. I mean, I would really be panting or even Mm -hmm. dizzy. But now I'm able to do that, which I really need because I have four children and running out. Yeah. Right. I and did you get back on my feet? <laughs> did you see Donna's post, Archie, in, in our graduate group? Did you see the post? We have a young lady. <clears throat> I think she's, I, I can't remember Donna's age, so I'm not going to lie, but she's uh, toward the end of 40s or somewhere there. But anyway, amazing woman came in with hypothyroidism, and I think there was another diagnosis on um, four or five medications. And she used to be a runner, and she could not run anymore. And four weeks into the program, she hit the pavement. And now, did you see that she was finishing one oh, yeah. of the, one of the miracles? So yeah, yeah, she, she looks so young. She, she looks amazing, and she's off medication now, and she's running. She has a goal of 5K, 10K, and then I think either half or full marathon. But it's, it's amazing that that happened for her in eight weeks, and not, not even three months, but eight weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, right. I, I read Sandra's. Uh, is Sandra up next? Uh, her question. Yeah, Sandra says, okay. "How did you manage your time with your kids and doing program, including the visualization?" Okay, this is this is what I I sort of learned from a spiritual director, meaning that it should fit like a glove in the palm of your hands. Like this is from Saint Jose Maria, one of the saints that I really like, mm-hmm. and this is what I did to Elena's program that it should fit my the way my lifestyle because otherwise it because it's going to be part of my life anyway so the things that uh, elena has been teaching us should fit like a glove in the palm of our hands meaning okay for instance um how do i do the visualizations or all these you know well i i ha- i pray so i try to like do it in the morning and i even do it in the afternoon imagine that so for instance well this is just a practical tip if you want to just be alone with your children okay i let them watch uh, alone and your children not bugging you i just let them watch a video Uh, that's the only video they get to watch or do something productive and let distract themselves for 30 minutes a day in the afternoon so i get my quiet time and in the mornings of course i'm the one who gets up very early in the morning and just you know have some quiet time for myself and that's how i do the visualization well they call it visualization i do it in my prayer Mm -hmm. my prayer time so that's how i do it that's just for that thing but all the other things that elena has taught us like uh yeah it should fit your lifestyle meaning okay when i go shopping that's i have already a shopping list and i should not be distracted with you know other junk temptations <laughs> that you see the grocery and things like stay that in the aisle you stay in the aisle don't look yeah. around, don't look around. <laughs> shop the periphery yes. basically it's really trying to fit it into your life and see how how it would work with with your specific uh, circumstances so Fantastic. That's how I can Fantastic. And Joyce said, thank you very much. She's so inspired by you. So oh, I am also inspired by other people. So that's good. That's good. Yes. 
Fantastic. So if you have any other questions, please pause them. Otherwise, what we're, what I'm going to do is I left a link uh, to my appointment calendar. You all can book a discovery call and see if this is a solution for your health challenges that you're going through. So whether it's Hashimoto's, Graves disease, endometriosis, PCOS, infertility, what else have we worked with? Um, Graves disease, hyperthyroidism, low T for guys, erectile dysfunction, anything in between we've worked with everything, autoimmune diseases, gastrointestinal problems, been there. This is exactly what we're coming from, a background of making the impossible possible. And Sandra said, it should fit your life like a glove fits your hand and she loves that so that's that is a really really great quote and a lot of people say well how will that change my life oh my god i will never go be able to go out to eat that's okay because we teach you so the first few weeks we teach you how to do these things at home and then eventually you're empowered to go out and you can i go out to restaurants sometimes and we still eat out and we travel all the time 10 years into this lifestyle i never had a moment of oh my god i can never make this work it always works for those who want to make it work. And I think that you said it, um, Archie, where there's a will, there's a way, whether it comes to finances, finding them to invest in yourself or time for visualizations or time to actually go to bed on time. What we don't do is excuses. And that means if there is an obstacle on your path, on, on your road to health, we get it out of the way or we walk around it. That's all there is. You get over it or around it, but you never let it stop you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't see any other questions right now. So, Archie, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I know that you had taken the last hour of your time to be with us away from your kids. And you've paid it forward and I appreciate it very, very much. And I know the ladies who will be listening, who are listening, and this recording will go out to about 20, 30,000 people. Everybody will appreciate your sacrifice and your time and just mm -hmm. willingness to share your success with others too. Well, thank you, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fantastic. You have a great night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have no other questions, this is going to be the end of this broadcast. If you do, and it's going to, you're watching a little bit later after we're done, you can leave comments right under this video. And I'll be, be sure to respond to what I can, or you can always private message me. And if you just want to get on my calendar or one of my team members, I uh, left a link. I'll post it, post it over the video as well when we're done. You can find it there. If you're going to watch this on YouTube, it's going to be under the video, Facebook over the video. And for everybody else in between, whether it's podcast or something else, is going to be on the blog post where we share it. So check it out. Um, Achi has been so gracious to share with us. And her story is just one of many impossible is what is possible for you. So if a woman with who is pregnant six months along and has three kids and a husband and she's homeschooling, if she can do this, there's absolutely no reason for somebody not to find a time in their life, in their busy life, not to uh, uh, basically give yourself what you deserve, give that time because you're going to make a meal anyway. Why not make it a healthy meal? You're going to go to sleep anyway. Why not make it in a way that it actually rejuvenates your body? If you're going to go and think about stuff anyway, why not make it the positive things that we visualize and we talk about and meditate on and or pray through? Why not flip the whole world the right side up and finally do the unimaginable, the things that your doctors told you that you can never do? It's because I'm sure when she approached them and said, I'm going to try this thing with a health coach, they probably said, okay, good luck, woman. You, you've probably lost your mind, but it was worth a try because what else is out there after you've had a couple of thyroid storms? And those are no fun. They take your life away. So there's always an option to either believe what uh, people have experienced before you, the naysayers, the doctors, because they're trained to be uh, more pessimistic in their nature, or just to take a chance on who you are and who you want to be and actually give yourself a chance at a better life. And I promise you, it's not going to be easy from the beginning because there will be detox and it might not be that you'll get your outcomes overnight, although it, it is possible. It could be in a few weeks, but like Sandra, who is watching, you might, might go through detox and some migraines until we figure out what's going on. But at the end of it all, when you get to the other side and you're 20 pounds lighter for, for some, not everybody needs to lose weight. For some of you, 100 pounds lighter and 50 fewer symptoms, you'll be sold hold of worth your time. Because if you've been sick even for a year or five years or 15 years like Archie, or I have just um, got somebody into the program 28 years of being sick, then even a year is nothing in comparison. And if you can get to something in three to four months, this is just nothing but the blip on the radar of your time. There you have it. Did you enjoy today's podcast? 
If you did, make sure to subscribe to my show and don't forget to tell others about it too. If you'd like to get more information about me and what I do, how I help amazing human beings just like you achieve their optimal dream health, go to www.360impacthealth.com to the contact page and shoot me a note. Thank you so much for listening. I will catch you on the next episode of the Health Wizard Podcast.